Hi everyone, it's Andrew Luna Creates. I thought I would show you my craft room on how I'm trying to keep it neat and tidy. Back in March, I believe, I did uh, a craft room uh, video tour and I just thought I would do another tour just to show you how I'm trying to keep up with keeping it tidy and organized. So here we go. So here is my daughter's desk. This is where she likes to create. Uh, it looks really clean right now because last night we cleaned it all up and it looks amazing now. Now she has more room, you know, throw out stuff and reorganize. But anyways, here's her area. So under here is still the same. I have my Christmas tote here that's ready to go to do some any DIYs. I have a Cricut cake machine here that I don't know what I'm going to do with, but it's there for now. Um, I have my canvases back here. My husband's been taking up some paintings, so we stored the canvases there. Then under the desk here is still pretty much the same. There's more canvases here and all the papers are pretty organized in my opinion. I think it looks the same to me anyhow so that's there moving along and this little trolley here is my daughter's stuff um, her art supplies her paints and whatnot and on top there are just some mini albums that I made that she she took she's like mom can I have these sure why not? I have so many. So those are hers now. And yeah, that's her little station. And then I have my laminating machine here and whatnot. My bow maker. And I really wanted to show you guys um, my stamp and die storage. How I'm trying to keep this neat and tidy. So this shelving unit is from Ikea. And each cubby has a theme. So last night I did my last Halloween project. So I moved all my, ha I packed away all my Halloween stuff and I took out all my Christmas stuff. And that included stamps and dies. These two cubbies here have uh, Christmas stamps and dies. And even this one here. They were more in the corner there. So I just moved all my fall and Halloween ones to that corner and moved the Christmas ones here so that they're easier access. I could just grab them and start creating with them. Um, on top, it still looks the same. I still have all my bins. I just took down the Christmas bin that I had up there and I added, I put my Halloween bin up there. I have two trolleys here from Michael's. I think this one's from Ikea, I can't remember, but this one's definitely from Michael's. It's pretty much the same. I'm trying to keep it organized. I still have this little basket here I gotta deal with, with fall and Halloween ribbon. I just wanna take them off the spools and try to filter them in there. So these two bins here are trims, ribbons and such. The top bin is all my media mats and my paper trimmers. On this trolley, um, this one, it, it holds all majority of my punches. Pretty much all my punches are in there. And then I have my cinch machines on top. Now behind this is a closet with where I put my, um, my stash. Like I have my Valentine's Day stash in there, Halloween fall stash in there. So last night I dug out all my Christmas and I put all my fall and Halloween back into storage. So that door is shut somewhat. <laughs> um, hanging on the door is my vinyl storage. I bought this from Michael's. So it has all my vinyl here, which I'm super happy that it's there so I could see what I have and, and, um, grab whatever I need for a project. Now in this corner, it's a little, me. Eh, I have another Ikea shelf here. Um, I have some paper boxes in front of the shelf because 
behind it. It's it has um, four cubbies with junk journal supplies. So I don't mind covering that up. It has all my golden uh, little golden books and such. But in these boxes is junk journals that I made and mini albums that I made. I just I had them in these cabinets in our living room. But now that it's going to be, you know, it was Halloween and Christmas season, I like to deco take these two cabinets and use them for adding Christmas decorations. So I box them up for now. And then when once Christmas is over, I'll put them back into those cabinets. So there's just staying here temporarily. These are just cards that I've made. I have three full bins and two bins that are empty. Uh, this is those that um, We Are Memory Keepers project card. It's more like an organization thing for me. Um, I wish I could utilize it a little bit better, but it is what it is. So that's still there. In behind in the corner is another cart that I very rarely go in, so I don't mind blocking that. Just hold spare items anyways. On top of the IKEA cabinet, it has projects that I've made that I have them up there. I'll be before we move on to this section, I'm just gonna bring you guys back here. Sorry, I'm not very good in um, video videoing a tour, so I hope I'm not making anybody dizzy. If I do, I apologize. I have this other uh, cubby um, cubby system here, and it's holding majority of my paper pads. I believe. Oh my gosh, the top one, two, I think. Three. Three of the cubbies are like majority Christmas papers. And then I bought some more. I have issues. So anyways, this here has all my paper pads. Then on top, it has my cutting machines. This pile here is Christmas. Now keep in mind, this is sitting on a cubby. So I'll show you. I don't know if you can see, but that's part of the cubby system. But under, in that cubby hole here, there's Christmas paper pads. So this is all, so Christmas, 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 more Christmas, and Christmas. This is just a little catch-all, gotta sort through, but yeah, I have a, Christmas issue. Moving along. <laughs> uh, this is a sewing kit that is my um, husband's grandmother's. So I used to have it on this Ikea shelf, but I had other things on top of it. And every time I needed it, I had to move things. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to put it on the ground here. So it's easier access for me until I could figure it out where to put it, that it's a better place to put it. I have, um, this is pretty much unchanged, to be honest. It's still, it works for me. It still looks cluttered, yes, but it works. Um, I have these rainbow uh, drawer system that I picked up from Michael's years ago. They don't have them anymore. And I have them all labeled, so I pretty much know where things are. Then on top, I have all my mixed media items, uh, bling, um, oh my god, I'm lost for words, ink pads, watercolors, all that jazz. That's all on here. My markers are all in that corner there. Um, here I have, I gotta kind of go through that and take some of the spools that has already been used up, but I have a rib ribbons here as well. Then on top of that, I have some projects that I've worked on. They're displayed there. And then this is where I sit to create. It is pretty clean at the moment because I gave a good clean last night. Here under the desk is a lot of storage bins as well of 
either Valentine's Day items or whatnot. They're all in bins. This here is uh, pictures, or some old pictures that maybe I could scrapbook. Sometimes when I'm in a scrapbooking mood, I'll just flip through these and just scrapbook some old photos. And yeah, so that's how that is here. I have pretty much organized. Eh, you know, it looks cluttered, yes, but it works for me. So here's the chair that I sit at. My daughter made me this cute little pillow. <laughs> and then here I have another trolley that has holding spare items. I have a little door that is under the stairs that I house some uh, DIY supplies. And then this is a cubby hole here with, you guess it, more paper. Um, more paper pads, six by six paper pads here. My graphic 45 items are in there, mixed media. And the last one on the bottom is stickers. So yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, nope, I lied. And I still have this wall with majority of my ink pads. This is an old tape deck uh, display that my husband gave to me so I have all my ink pads not all of them but majority of the ink pads are on this display unit and then on top I have some items that I've created through the years actually my daughter made that little frame up there from Michael's I just thought it was cute so I put it up there but yeah so that's my video tour for you guys for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye for now.